the battery on this camera is pretty low. I just found out a moment ago that the batteries that I had charging for a while apparently weren't charging at all, so that's just fantastic. I might be recording this and then lose most of my video, which is mad because this video is supposed to be short anyway, so I won't be losing much. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy but stylish outro card that'll set your channel apart from the rest. I would like to remind you to please like, subscribe, and put notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my informative filmmaking videos. This channel runs off your support so your participation- ah. <laughs> This channel runs off your support so your participation is always greatly appreciated. Now it's time to jump into After Effects. Now that we're in After Effects, hit New Composition, name it Outro. Sweet. I tend to work in the 4K aspect ratio. I also like to work in 24 frames per second. Make sure that the duration of this composition is at 25 seconds. I find it useful to make your background color more of like a lighter gray and not exactly black, but almost black. I like to do that just because I can tell the difference between black because I tend to work in black a lot. Hit Layer, New, Solid. I'm making this a black solid, but you can make it whatever color you want because this is your project. Something for this specific project that I think is useful is hitting this button right here and hitting Rulers. And that kind of allows you to see more of like a grid of what's going on. You can even pull a line out to help you line things up correctly, uh, which I think is great, but we don't need to use that right now. Select your layer and hit P. Now move the black solid over. Now you can move it anywhere that you want to, but I kind of tend to make it a little bit more than halfway, because that looks about halfway right there, maybe a little bit more. So I might push it just a little bit. So that way I know for sure that this side is a little bit less than this side, because uh, you want it like that. Go to five seconds in your timeline, hit the stopwatch on position, and you just made a keyframe. Keyframes are great. What they are is they're a specific value that automatically animates to another value is pretty much what they are. And that makes life so much useful. For example, if I go back to zero seconds, I move the position of this. It's good to move it right off of screen. Now if I play it, you'll see that it automatically animates. Fantastic. But there are some things that you can do to spice up and smooth out your animation. Hit this button right here. Make sure that the position property is selected. Pull on this little ball here and pull down and over, right? You make them both touch each other. It's going to make a really smooth animation, as you can see here. Look at how fantastic that is. Hit this button right here, and this shows you that this part is actually transparent. Why do you want it transparent, you might ask? Let me tell you. This outro is supposed to be more of like a template, which means that I don't have to recreate it every single time. So if I export this here as transparent, I can automatically put it on in Premiere Pro, and then I don't have to worry about it. It's just drag and drop. Now I'm gonna teach you how to export transparent videos. Hit File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Now you're going to pick the place that you want this to be exported to. Save. Now you're going to hit Output Mode. The channel's option is automatically going to be on RGB. You're going to click on it and hit RGB plus Alpha. And that will allow this clip to be transparent. Hit OK and hit Render. So now that you're in Premiere Pro, grab your outro template and import it. Now put it on the very end of your sequence. Now you can see kind of how this is working. Now here's the thing though, we can make this look a whole lot better than it already does. Bring this one channel up, hit the new item button, and select adjustment layer. Hit OK. Now move this to the very beginning of the sequence. See the great thing about this adjustment layer is that it's five seconds which is exactly how long the animation took to get from point A to point B. I moved over to the effects panel, go to effects and type in transform. Sweet, and then you'll notice the effect right there. Double click it and it should automatically be in your adjustment layer. Nice. If you hit the up and down arrow, it allows you to move between edits. And if you toggle this and turn off this, then it'll toggle between the second channel edit and not the first channel 
and that makes things 100 times easier for you. Use the up arrow to go to the beginning of your adjustment layer. Make sure to hit position on your transform effect. Don't hit position on the adjustment layer's motion itself. Make sure that it's on the transform effect or else this won't work. Hit the stopwatch on position. Now use the down arrow to get to the end of your adjustment layer. Make sure that adjustments are selected and hit this button. That'll add another keyframe. Now what you wanna do is drag your adjustment layer out to the end of your timeline. And now it's all good and ready to go. Make sure that you're on your keyframe and you can tell because that'll light up blue. And you're gonna to wanna to drag your clip out a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Now you can see that it animates with the outro card. One thing that we can do to smoothen this animation is hit this arrow right here and that'll bring down a menu that allows you to change keyframe animations by doing that. And if you pull in here and you pull in here, that makes a point right there. That'll make it to where it animates smoothly. There you have it. I hope that I was successful in helping you or teaching you something new. It's very important to me that I teach what I've learned from my filmmaking journey. If you have any special effects ideas or video topics that you'd like me to cover, please leave it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll catch you in the next one.